So I moved to Toronto during a global pandemic. What I love about Toronto is the fact that although majority of the places are shut down, it's still vibrant. There's still some things to see and it's still some places to go. Now, of course, the major landmarks, not opening right now. And nightlife, entertainment, not happening, which affects me and that's dear to my heart. It hurts. But I'm gonna show you how we're gonna launch Key Radio and also how we're gonna make the internet our best friend. And uh, I got more of the city to show you too. Let's go. I moved from the Bahamas, and I know you already asked yourself, why would you leave paradise? It's gorgeous there. I know, look at it. I haven't fully left paradise. I still have my responsibilities with Key Radio and Live Vibes, so I'm back and forth between here and the island. I just needed a new space where I could expand the brand, grow, and opportunities in Toronto were calling, so here I am, that's where I came. I just wanna add that I'm inside the Scotiabank Arena where the Raptors play, and it's completely shut down, completely empty. This lockdown is crazy. So it looks really good outside today and there's a lot of people walking around and I don't blame them. It's probably the warmest day of the year since I've been here and I actually regretted the move when I first got here. It was snowing, there were blizzards. I was like, why did I do this? But it's looking up and you know, the weather's looking good. During that entire lockdown period, uh, it was snowing. So it kind of made the lockdown easier for me 
the challenging part was trying to be creative and continue my uh, my business with everything pretty much done because at that point there was no social gatherings there were no parties there were no ability to do any <laughs> a bird just flew and hit a guy <laughs> in the head and this is the second time this has happened everyone's just excited to be outside i guess but <laughs> back to what i was saying uh the entire process was challenging and i had to find a way to make myself productive and not lose my mind <laughs> so what me and my team did was we decided to work on key radio and that's my radio platform that's going to be broadcasting 24 7 uh fully licensed uh, and it's gonna be the hub for everything creative that we do. Uh, it's gonna be the workhorse for my brand because it's gonna be the one place where me, all the people in my network can come together and did, did, the, did he do it? Did the bird do it again? There's, there's a bird t attacking people. There's a bird. <laughs> but anyway, back to what I'm saying. Uh, it's going to be the one place where me and all the creative people in my network come together and we just do dope things. And if you want to see behind the scenes content on how we're going to be working that radio station, uh, how we got it started, the licensing process, um, also where you can learn how to market yourself as a DJ, even during this rough pandemic time, me, my friends, a lot of people on my team, we're going to come together and make some dope videos. So you should subscribe. Hit the like button one time um, and do it every time. <laughs> Make sure you do not miss anything. This is where that content is going to live, all right? But anyway, it looks really good outside. Um, I'm gonna finish exploring the city. Okay, so yesterday was looking too good for me to pass up going outside and showing you what the city is looking like during a global pandemic. Now, I'm back home and I decided I want to give you my top five reasons why I moved to Canada. Top five, top right? five. Maybe this will help you with deciding, making the decision if Toronto is the right place for you or giving you the confirmation that you need to move anywhere on this beautiful planet. Okay, now uh, just to give you a little background on me, prior to moving to Toronto, I lived in the Bahamas. And prior to that, I lived in the United States. And prior to that, I lived in the Bahamas because I'm Bahamian. That's where I was born. Salute to Grand Bahama. That is my people. Freeport was good. Okay, now um, let's bring you up to speed. I decided to not return to United States mainly because um, the unjust and straight up racist acts that's happening to my people there right now just didn't feel like it was the right place for me. And due to my, you know, time and visits here to Toronto, my network, all of that, I felt like it was the perfect time for me to move here. Now it's time for my top five reasons why I moved to Canada. Disclaimer. There's no order to my list. There's it's it's completely random. There's no ranking. Okay, so reason one, it's because of the cultural diversity. There is a fair mixture of beautiful people here in Toronto, ranging from Europeans to Africans to Asians, and there's so much more for me to explain. I would be here all day. Also, there's a lot of Caribbean people, which is my people. I'm here. I can connect. I can relate, and it's beautiful. Okay. That's reason number one. Reason number two is my network. Prior to moving here to Canada, I made many trips here to Toronto. I also visited Winnipeg. I also visited, visited Halifax. And throughout my journey, 
I felt more comfortable each time I came here to Toronto. I networked more. I met more amazing people in the industry, from DJs to party promoters to radio personalities uh, to straight up club owners and and musicians and producers and writers. And that gave me the energy. That gave me the boost to make a smoother transition and not have such a heavy mental load on thinking about should I move. Is it right for me? No, for me, it's, it felt like a smooth transition. So I would recommend if you wanna move here or move anywhere, make a few trips first, plant a few seeds and open a few doors. That will help with your transition. Education. Now, I had to accept the fact that I do not know everything. Can you believe that? I don't, I don't, I don't know everything. So that led me to seek post-secondary education where I wanted to take on the journalism and radio broadcasting programs available here in Toronto. There's so many great programs and also a lot of great resources that will allow me to work hands-on with some of the major companies here and um, learn a little bit more than I already knew. I love the companies back home in the Bahamas, but they just were not on the scale and had the size that I needed to uh, take my career to where I wanted it to go. Now, I definitely would recommend that if you have the option to go to school here in Toronto, take it because it has a lot of great perks and a lot of great benefits. Fourth reason I moved here is the currency, the dollar, AKA the loony. Some of the people view Toronto as expensive, but I get the perk where I can take my Bahamian dollar, which is equivalent to a US dollar, and exchange it for a Canadian dollar. Now, when I make that exchange at this current time of making the video, which is June 2020, that one US dollar would get me $1.35 in Canadian money. Now, for example, so I give you a better idea of what we're talking here and not just dollars. If I took a DJ booking in the Bahamas or in the US and I made $600 from that booking, that will result in me getting $810 and some change at the time of making this video. So there is a slight boost, um, which gives me that extra perk, that extra 35 cents on a dollar can go a very, very long way. My fifth reason can also be your fifth reason. Some people move because they simply have the desire for a new chapter in their life or because of career opportunities. For me, my personal reason at number five is because I needed more space to grow. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I still have my responsibilities in the Bahamas and I will never forget the experiences and all the love I got living in the Bahamas for the last five years. I just needed more space to grow. I loved working at Hot 91.7 FM where I did my 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. show. However, in the radio industry, the room for growth is not comparable versus uh, the room for growth here in Toronto in a much larger city. So that was a critical reason why I decided to move here to Toronto just so I can be in a larger network, a larger market, and I could have that room to grow. So there we have it, my top five reasons why I decided to move here to Toronto. Now, if you like this video and you wanna see more content like this and others, stay close by subscribing to my page. Make sure you hit the notification and also give me a thumbs up if you like this. I mean, it's my first vlog, so what do you think? Also drop a comment so I can read the room. If you would like to connect with me even further, look in the description below. You will find my social media links so we can stay connected and you can also get daily updates on my Instagram stories. All right, so I'm about to get up out of here. You could be anywhere on the internet, but you decided to be here with me and for that, I appreciate you. Peace. Top story. Ooh.